When an on-screen takeoff, you have many options to modify the default settings and preferences of the program. Navigate to the Tools menu, and then select Options. An Options pop-up window then displays. Before we dive into these settings, it's worth noting that some of these options have been gradually introduced over time with new features. If you don't see some of these options on your system, it likely means you are simply using an earlier release of on-screen takeoff. There are multiple tabs along the top. When the Options window first opens, you'll start on the General tab. The General tab includes a variety of important options to determine basic functionality within the program. Let's look at some of the more prominent options in this window, starting with the Roping method for object selection. Currently, our Roping method is set to Touching. The Touching Rope method means that not only can I rope around certain objects to select them, but any items that my rope intersects or touches are also selected. If you were to change the method to Inclusive, then only takeoff completely within your roped box would be selected. In this instance, it doesn't matter if the rope touches an item. Instead, it must be completely enclosed within the roped box you draw to be selected. Further, you can opt whether or not to show the right angle line indicator when performing takeoff, which helps ensure that you're drawing straight lines and perfect 90 degree angles. The next option allows you to choose whether linear takeoff automatically connects as well. Though this can be edited in the advanced tab in the condition properties window for linear items, this sets whether or not they are connected as the default setting. The next setting determines how hot links operate within OST. If you click on a hotlink icon on a drawing, you can have the main takeoff window navigate to the linked named view, you can have the second annotation window go to the view, or you can have the third view window navigate to the named view. The display page index with sheet name and display sheet number with sheet name determines the format of your sheet names within the page navigation dropdown in the image tab. The next option determines how your crosshairs display when performing takeoff either as a large, full-screen crosshair when this checkbox is selected, or as a smaller, more localized crosshair option when this checkbox is deselected. The next setting is important when trying to edit linear takeoff. If you select the Restrict Lateral Movement of Linear Objects checkbox, you'll only be able to move your takeoff up and down, but not left or right. To have a full range of motion when editing your linear takeoff, make sure to deselect that checkbox. When you're drawing takeoff, you might have noticed that there are some extra dimension options that often display on the screen, showing the distance between two different pieces of takeoff. If you want those to go away, simply deselect the Enable Auto Dimension Lines option. In the bottom left, you can control how the Snap Angle feature works. When you're drawing takeoff, by default the lines don't always follow your cursor exactly, but will snap to 15 degree intervals. You can turn this off by changing the Unpressed option to the right of mouse to zero. You can even make it to where you press Shift to turn the Snap Angle feature on by changing the Pressed field to 15. Finally, you can set a default Auto Zoom level, which means that when you're zoomed in to less than the indicated percentage, a tool appears when you're drawing takeoff which zooms in closer to the image, allowing for more accurate takeoffs. If you want to disable this tool, simply set the default Auto Zoom level to zero. Now let's take a look at the new Bid tab. The options that are set in this tab only affect the next bid you create, but do not affect previously created bids. You can start by changing the bid number of the next new bid before setting default units of measure. The next two fields are for our digital production control users. You can then change the default price using option if you want your OST jobs to always link to Excel or Quick Bid by default before choosing your default takeoff increments. The next section of the New Bid tab allows you to define new page defaults with regard to page size, scale style, or the default scale selection applied to all new pages. The section in the top right determines the default layout of the image legend when it's added to your drawings. You can choose which quantities to display next to the conditions in the legend, whether you want the number or type to display, or how you want your legend to be sorted. The Fonts Colors tab Unsurprisingly, allows you to choose default font and colors for various items in the program. The top section allows you to change the default font and size for standard text, the image legend, and various labels on the screen. 
The default color section allows you to change the default color for different items, such as text, labels, dimension lines, and highlights. And finally, the auto naming highlight option is used in conjunction with the auto naming feature and sets the color and transparency of the highlights indicating the sheet number and sheet name identified by the program. The Sounds tab allows you to change the default sounds you hear when performing certain takeoff tasks in the program. The Folders tab allows you to change default hard drive storage locations for specific information in the system. And finally, the Analytics tab allows you to opt in to sharing usage information with OnCenter software to help us make informed decisions to improve the overall user experience within the program.